Hello friends, uh, DFAN236 and the Miyagi here. Uh, just got back from lunch and after lunch we went to uh, Toys R Us, got a couple new Godzilla toys. Weird, um, Toys R Us all they seem to have is Godzillas. There's the only enemy of Godzilla we found was um, um, King Caesar. Even though that's actually his friend. Yeah. Also I saw a pack there with a bunch of different smaller figures and Mutos in there. So we're going to do uh, an unboxing of Burning Godzilla and Godzilla 2014. Okay. Start off with Burning Godzilla. I what? want to unbox them. Okay, what do you think of the package? Well, for one thing, it's very, well, it fits the Japanese thing, and on the back, if this size was accurate, what would Godzilla 2014 look like? That's yeah, pretty big, isn't it? Yeah. And the, for some reason, the picture of 1954 Godzilla is a toy. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah. All right, let's, uh, Let's do the cut open. Dad, is it annoying where there's a package of scissors, but it's made of plastic, so you need scissors to open the scissors? Yeah. It's... Let's go get in there. Right. Oh, no. Not oh, we got some twist ties. I hate them. They're evil. A couple. Just about as evil as pouring your milk yeah, first. What did they have at Toys R Us? They had a 12-inch a Godzilla by Bandai. We already have both of those. They had a six and a half inch King Ghidorah. Wait, what? Not King Ghidorah. King Caesar. Oh, I was like, wait, what? They had King Ghidorah? And they had these Nika monster, Nika toys. Yeah, we already had the 1984 one. Yeah, Godzilla 1985 by Nika and okay. Godzilla 2014 by Nika Which? and this burning Godzilla. I'm, there's actually a 1954 Nika Godzilla coming out. Yep, all right, let's take her out and put her together. Oops. Wait, how do you know it's a girl? I'll take it out. Probably because it lays eggs okay. and stuff. Remember, pay attention to the camera. Okay. Oh, I gotta put his arms right here. I'll put the tail on and then let's give it a cheese and we'll unbox the other one. Okay. And we'll do a review in just a minute. Okay. Oops. Hmm. I'll help you. There you go. These tails. Look at that. Good art. Wow, that's. Uh, Good. We paid nineteen dollars for this. That's a uh, very high quality for just, that amount of money. You, it's like it's just a lot like uh, Monster Arts, except way cheaper and way easier to find, possibly better. All right, let's look at the coloring and the articulation on the uh, Burning Godzilla. Yeah, go ahead. Introduce us first. I already did. This is part two. Oh yeah. Go ahead. Okay, for coloring, he's well, he's the uh, charcoal black or the extremely dark green. He has the same orange splotches all over his body. Yeah, they're kind of a uh, kind of see through a little bit. Yeah. Pretty cool. And for articulation, oh boy, here we go. His neck moves. His head moves. Don't move that one too much because the head falls off a lot. His jaw can open. His his arm can move. This 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 part of his arm can move a little. His hand can move and his fingers can move. Also his leg can move, his, whatever's under his knee can move, and his foot can move. Oh boy, tail. His tail base can move. Um, this part of his tail can move. This part of his this part of his tail can move. This part of his tail can move. Uh, so we're saying there's a lot of articulation. Also, also he can bend his hands. <coughs> ah, cool. Yeah, it's a really good looking Godzilla. I I like this one. It's and it's it's really sturdy. It's solid. It's except the fact that its tail and head always fall. It's off. obvious that it's not hollow. So mm -hmm. that's our uh, fire wait, Godzilla, wait, 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 fire wait, burning Godzilla. That, that, oh yeah. That, that. Size comparison with a Destroyer. Same Destroyer, still painfully accurate. Yeah, Destroyer is a bit bigger than Godzilla. So this is a part two. Can we can we do this one too? 